Wrong. I get a point. Uh, so I lost that round, and the machine fairly gets the point, and that's pretty much it. Yes. Hi folks, welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create your very own machine learning game. It's also fun and very easy to code. So let's begin. So we will be doing an image project again, and we'll be using three classes. Scissor, Paper, Rock. So let's name our classes. Now let's give um, uh, image samples to each classes now. I'm going to give about a hundred. Maybe I'm going to give 200. So, so the more uh, image samples you give, the more precise it will be. So let's try now. And it's better to... And this time for paper now. And now finally rock. So now let's train our model now. So depending on how much image samples he gives, so I give two, I given, I have given two hundred. If you give four hundred, let's say, it's going to take longer. Okay, so it's working really precisely now. So let's export our model to uh, Pictoblocks now. So let's export our model now. We don't need to do anything here. Now we can copy our model. And now let's go to Pictoblocks. So as you can see, I've already um, imported the rock paper as a sprite itself. It should be there in Pictoblocks, and I've also used Toby in this case. And we need to add extensions. And it should be right here, with ML with Teachable Machines. Now I can load our model. Yes, and now we have loaded our model, so now let's start with the coding. So first what you want to do is, for Toby, you want to start with the one-click block. And then, yeah, and then start with the rock, paper, scissors of it. So, yeah. Let's go one second each time.
And after that, we're going to broadcast a message to uh, Rock, Paper, Scissors, Shoot Sprite here. And, oh yeah, we need to go to events, events for that. And then, you can really broadcast anything here, it's not really going to be... Let's just do random. And, once, uh, once our sprite receives random broadcast here, so when I receive random broadcast, it's going to have to pick between the three, the three costumes. So rock paper scissor, uh, rock paper scissor, yeah. So we can go to costume number for that. We need to go pick pick random, so that should be three. And then go to costumes. Yeah, so you can just put the block right inside the switch to costume block and that should give a random costume. So as we can see the images is keep switching between the three costumes. So now oh yeah now we need to turn on the camera. Uh yeah, so we need to turn on the camera. So we need to turn on the open recognition window as soon as we broadcast random here. And then we will need to add our conditions here. So let's start with the if else block. And then if the identify class from the webcam is uh, paper, let's say. And then we need to add our conditions. So if the costume is either one of the three costumes, we need to add them as well. need to go for a costume number one. Uh, what's costume number one let's see. so costume number one is rock so paper beats rock so it's gonna be we're gonna be winning this so you can broadcast that to the so we can broadcast a new message now saying that you won we need to add our condition first oh there's gonna be a if else one and our second condition will be if the costume number is two so Two is paper, when we show paper then it's going to be a draw. So that will be a draw. And now we don't need to give an else loop here, we can just skip to if. Oh, actually, we don't need to because this is the last condition. We can just broadcast you lo you lost because the if it's not one or two, it's going to be the third costume. And now we can just duplicate this whole if else condition and then just change each one and then reorder the three broadcast messages. So let's say paper there. One is rock, so that shows one, that means it's game over. It's two. Two is going to be paper, so you win, I guess. And then the last one's gonna be draw because scissors. If you if you show a scissor and they also show a scissor, no one's gonna win this. And now for our last condition, we can just use an if loop.
And now once uh, Toby receives the broadcast here, so we can just go for when I receive game over, receive to draw, when I receive uh, you won, you can just say that. Yeah, so let's give that a try. Oh, I need to turn off my camera, okay. So let's give that a try now. Oh, I need to turn on the recognition dog. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, let's try again. I'm also going for a new tennis to show you all of the program. Yeah, so it did go through all of that perfectly. So that means the code is working. So for an extension, let's add the uh, scoreboard here. So we can go to scoreboard and So if you lose the game, the machine gets a point, and if it's a draw, then oh, no one gets a point, and if you won, then obviously you get a point. And we're just going to reset that quickly here. Oh, wait, no, no, we need to, yeah. Oh, we need another code for that individually. So whenever a space key pressed, the same thing's gonna happen. And now we can just add, well, we can just reset the two variables now. So let's give that uh, a try now. I get a point there. No one gets a point there. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I accidentally reset that. So I went wrong. I get a point. Uh, so I lost that round and the machine fairly gets the point and that's pretty much it You can do other variations. I've also heard bomb building and also a river. I Don't know how that works, but I've decided to rock you can do that too And that's pretty much it for the video. Thanks for watching <laughs>